Today we're going to talk about computer programming. First of all, let's define what a program is. A program is a set of instructions that can be entered into a computer that make it accomplish a specific task or specific tasks. Here's some examples. There's a computer program on almost every computer called a calculator. It might have a different name, but usually it's just called calculator. And it's a calculator. It's got a visual representation of what a calculator look like. looks like. You can click on the different numbers and operators like you know, add, subtract, multiply, divide, and so on. And it'll do math for you. That is a computer program. Normally, they actually don't come built into the computer itself. They come with the operating system. That computer software that handles all the low-level, fundamental things you're going to need to actually operate a computer. So someone built that computer program, that calculator computer, or sorry, that calculator program at some point. That was a computer programmer. And what they did is they actually worked with the computer programming language to write out instructions that they then installed into the computer. And when the computer is told to execute them, it does everything you need to make that program work. It actually presents on the screen the user interface, the graphic representation of a calculator. It handles user input when you click on the buttons, the numbers or the operators. And it handles processing data, applying the actual mathematical operation you told the calculator to do. And it handles displaying data. It shows the answer on the display. That's a computer program. And inside that computer, if you were able to like open it up and look at all the instructions set inside it, you would find a set of instructions that is the calculator program. Programs look very much like recipes. It's very much a one step after the other sort of thing. Let's look at an example. Here's a recipe for deviled eggs. Now I have no idea whether this is the perfect recipe, but it's a workable recipe. I know because I use it. So the recipe for deviled eggs in exact order. One, place a one gallon pot on the stove. Two, place eggs in the pot. Three, fill the pot with cold water to a level one inch above the eggs. Four, boil water for three minutes. Five, reduce the heat to simmer. Six, let eggs sit for 10 minutes. Seven, prepare the eggs. Now, a couple of things about this in terms of making it be an analogy to a computer program. We specified the exact size of the pot. We didn't just say, put a pot on the stove. That can mean a lot of different things. You have a 40 gallon pot that you use for giant crawfish boils. You can have a you know half an ounce pot because it comes from, the, comes from a doll's tea set. So we specify exactly what it is. Two, these steps are in exact order. You would not do number three before you do number two. Number three is fill the pot with cold water to level one inch above the eggs. If you haven't put the eggs in the pot, that doesn't make any sense at all. And you wouldn't prepare the eggs before you hard boiled them or that could get messy. Computer programs have a similar characteristic in that they are designed to be done in an exact order. The instructions in them need to be unambiguous. There won't be an instruction like average out the grades of some of the students. Okay, there's 30 students in the class. Do you want me to average out half of them? And what do I do with the other ones? You have to explicitly tell a computer what to do. And this goes back to the earlier coursework you did when we learned that a computer will only ever do exactly what it's told. And it has to be given the exact criteria when it makes a decision or when it does an actual operation, like a math operation. So this recipe for deviled eggs is very much like a computer program. Done in exact order, the instructions are explicit, and of course they are instructions that can be understood by a computer. Now, notice that this is written out in English. When you write computer programs, most of the time you'll be writing your computer programs with instructions that read very much like English they will look something like this. This is a computer program for adding numbers. This is, is exactly a computer program. You'll get to those in a little bit, but it's very much like what the computer programs you create will look like. You'll have a first instruction. Remember when we talked about the fundamental elements of any computer program? You have to tell the computer where to start. It would start, in this case, at the first instruction. And when it got through all the instructions, it would be done. Good. So the first instruction of the computer would be to receive input, and that input is what's the first number in our add numbers program. Once it had done that, i.e. the user entered in a number like five, then it would input the second number, and the user would input a number, say 12. 
The computer would then be instructed to multiply the first number by the second number, and it would do that. The answer is 60. But then the computer would be explicitly told to display that result on the screen. And so on the screen, you would see 60. Obviously, a very simple computer program. But let's look at this. The instructions here have to be executed in order. If you got to this step first and hadn't done the first two steps, there wouldn't be any data to multiply. Or if you did the first, the second, and then the fourth, you wouldn't have a result to display. Obviously, this is a very simple example. And this is the kind of thing you do in your head all the time. But recognize that when you do that, you are computing. You are processing data. You're receiving it from some source. You're probably looking at it on the screen. And you are computing. You're processing that data. You're doing the math operation, which is a process of the data, processing the data. You're doing the math operation of multiply. You do it in your head. It's 60. You're not displaying it anywhere, but you're holding it in your head. You can tell somebody, hey, 5 times 12 is 60. The things that you do automatically without even recognizing it, these are the things that as a computer programmer you need to start to look at and recognize. There is an exact process you use when you do math. Break that down into its individual components, its individual steps, and now you start to recognize how a computer program will work. The recipe before had to be in an exact order, and the instructions had to be completely unambiguous. They had to mean one exact thing. A computer will only do what it's told to. This program has to be done in exact order, and the instructions have to be unambiguous. They have to mean exactly what they're going to say, what, what, what you want them to do, and the computer will only ever do what you tell it to. So there's the fundamentals of a computer program. Obviously, we're going to add a lot of complexity onto that, but there's your basis.